Welcome back to Sassy Granny Vlogs. I'm behind the camera. I feel much better today. This is Monday. It's uh, it's in the early afternoon time of the day. Um, but welcome back. I'd appreciate it if you would um, subscribe to my channel, watch all my videos, thumbs them up, leave me comments below them. I love to get them and read them. I will answer you back. Sometimes it might take me a little bit to get there, but I do eventually get there and answer you back. Uh, don't forget to ring that little bell. ding a ling 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 so you won't miss out on any of the fun videos I put out. Okay. Um, I did some more crafting. I finished up the very last bit of that, the scraps I had laid out here that I was working with. So... That box stays there. That's its place. And I was using some things out of it. I had a box sitting here. I've put it away. I had a box sitting over here. I've put it away. I had scraps all laid out. And even up here, I've put them all away. I've put my glue, my wax paper I glue it on, my scissors, my pop dots I had out here, my uh, scraper after I glue it down to smooth it out good. I put all that away because I'm through. I think I'm finally tired of making those um, scrap paper ephemera things. So this is my last pieces here that I've made. Before I get on with that, I am, my house is dog free. Woohoo! <laughs> I can't remember if I told y'all or not, but my daughter and her husband and girls is back. My baby girls is back. Although I've been sick, so I haven't been able to get around them because I don't want to get them sick. But we took the dogs home the other night and then we've heard um, it was either yesterday sometime or earlier this morning. I can't quite remember. Finley, the biggest dog, got attacked by their neighbor's bulldog, pit bulldog, and got, you know, bit like puncture holes, not all the way through, but you can tell they're there, uh, of the teeth around his neck a couple of times and said he was scared to death, but I think he's okay. Bless his heart. But anyway, now let's get on to this. So, to start off with, I finished up all the little scraps. So, I just made some more little clusters. So, this could be a Christmas one. This is not a Christmas one, but it's a pretty one. Pink and purple, my favorite colors. Here's another one that could be a Christmas one. Am I not showing them to y'all right? I'm so sorry. I have a tendency to not look through my camera and I just look at what I'm showing and I aim the camera thinking I'm aiming it at it right on. Christmassy, Christmassy. And here's another pretty pink and purple one. And then I had the last few little pieces, these right here, left. So I searched in my boxes and I was able to find three more big things that I could put them on. So this is something that I had made and painted a long time ago. And uh, it's, you know, it's pretty blue, pink, purple colors. And so I put those on it. And then here's a card. And I found this thing in the box as well. And so I glued those together on there. And on this side, you can write on it. Okay, then there was, I pulled a tag out. And I glued those on the tag. Just to make a pretty pink and purple tag. And so there's that. And I'm through with that. So since I'm through with these now... I'm not going to make any more of those for a while. I get to pick another card and see what the next craft will be. Hmm, I wonder. Of course, I'm still working on crocheting. So, I have put my blanket aside because I am now working on the advent calendars that I'm trying to make my babies. I've got three done right there. And um, this will be the fourth one. They'll have two each by then. But I want to make more. I want them to have at least six each, hopefully. If I can get it done before time for them to start doing them. Um, okay, guys. This is all I have for right now to show y'all. In a little bit, so says my husband. If he don't change things. We are fixing to go to town. And look for and hopefully buy us a couple of recliners and we're going to give this couch up to our oldest daughter so this couch was our baby daughters uh gracie and lena's mama katie and marcus and then they got a new set and handed it down to us well now we don't want the couch anymore 
I hardly ever even sit on it. I sit in my chairs. I'm comfortable like that. I like that. Hubby is the one that tries to lay on him, and he hurts his back a lot and don't like it. And the cushions, you know, scoot out, and he's always having to fix that and all that. So he wants a recliner, and I wouldn't mind having one too. So I'm going to keep my chairs and the couch that goes to it. It's in the bedroom at the foot of the bed, kind of using it like the foot board of our bed. But anyway, I'm going to keep those. But we're going to get a couple of recliners, and we'll give these to our oldest daughter, Elizabeth. She has the big house, big living room. She's got room for it. And she, we wasn't just going to get rid of it, but she said, no, I got more room. And when we have big things, we need more seating at my house. I'll take them. So we're going to give them to her. <laughs> so hopefully later I'll be able to come on here and show y'all our new living room. Woo! That's going to be so fun and exciting. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I'll let you go for now. We'll see y'all in then. Toots until then. Okay, so we came into town and we stopped at Wendy's first and ate lunch. And then we came here and looked. And I sat and tried out several places. And I found one that I liked that fit me just right in every way. My short legs, my little body. So it wasn't a big wide chair. It was close in to my sides like I liked it. Um, fit my back real good. It's a rocker and a recliner. And I love it. So, but hubby wanted to check all around. So... We went to the next town over and checked the big store called Rooms to Go. And none of them there. They were higher priced. They had some that was cheaper. But none of them fit my body as comfortable as the one here. So we decided to come back here and get this one. Now we won't get it tonight. We're both getting one, the same one, the same color. Because he tried it out too and he said it was comfortable to him. So... Uh, but we're getting it ordered, and, um, by, she said by next week, next Monday, she should have them in. So, we'll be able to get them then. I was thinking and hoping we could get them tonight, but maybe, you know, it won't take too long. But, uh, we're gonna give the other to Elizabeth and get the house, the living room, you know, cleaned up and swept up and ready for the new recliners. And um, after he orders it here tonight, we've got to uh, run to Walmart. But we're also going to go to Home Depot, Home Depot and pick us out a Christmas tree. He said I could get me a tinsel Christmas tree. I remember having a tinsel Christmas tree when I was a little girl. Mama had one, and I loved it. And I want to get me another one of them. He said I could, so... I'm going to get one of them. I don't want it to be too tall. So, you know, I'm four foot tall. I'm 4'11". So, a four foot tree would be just fine for me. It don't got to be no real big tall one. That little old wood Christmas tree he had built to put his ornaments on to sell them when he was doing the festivals and building the wood stuff. Uh, I used it so much to it started wearing out. So... He's the one said he wanted to get a, he said a real tree, but he don't mean like a real live tree that you cut down from outside or that the tree forms. He don't like that kind either, but um, we've gotten a couple of those before, but, you know, he meant a store-bought real tree, not that wood thing, little wood thing he made. So, you know, I asked him if I could get a tinsel one, and he said I could. So that's what we're going to do. So he's in there now ordering our recliner. And um, my back is hurting getting in and out and sitting down, in, you know, up and down. And recliners checking them out. So I decided not to go in for him to order that. So I'm just out here waiting on him to get through. Okay, well... Oh, and that's...
that's all I have to say. Um, maybe I'll do a little vlog and when we go into Home Depot and look at the Christmas trees. Alright, so we'll see y'all then, toots. Until then. Okay, guys, we are getting ready. So, as y'all know, the other day when we went to town, we ordered us a couple of new recliners. Really, the first recliners me and hubby's ever had. I had that one a while back for my back. That was just one for me. But this time, it's going to be me and hubby. So, anyway, remember I said we was going to give this couch to Elizabeth. So, we got rid of these two parts that were here. And there we he done took them to Elizabeth's house. He left this one here for now so that he's still got something to lay on. This is Thursday, by the way. And we were told we have not heard nothing from them yet, but we were told that it might be in Friday. She's supposed to call Hubby's phone to let him know. So that's tomorrow. But so he saved this so he'd have something to sit on. If it don't come in tomorrow, then probably by Monday next week. And so, I have rearranged. We got that out. I swept it out good. I have straightened this corner up just a little bit different, a little bit nicer and neater. Yes, that tree is, my seasonal tree is still there. I put, now I had dusted this off, and then look at here. How did all that get on there? I dusted that off when I moved it here. I took my stuff off that I had on it and put it in my room, found a spot for it in there. But I put that there. He's getting the new tree today. And it, the Christmas tree, you know, I said I wanted a tinsel. I said he'd let me have one. Well, we looked at Home Depot. They didn't have one there. Went to Walmart, looked there. They didn't have one there. You can pull them up and order them online. But they are like hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So that's out. I'm not going to get my tinsel tree. So he found one that he really liked at Home Depot, and he's going to pick it up today. It's a little three-foot tree. So he's going to set it here, and he's going to have to form it and make it look right and even and all that, and hopefully it'll be easy. I've always hated hanging up ornaments on trees like that because they're so full I can't get in there to hang it on the things real good. That tinsel tree, what I was picturing from my childhood was like, you could see through the limbs. It wasn't all full and bushy, and so that made it easy to see and get in there and hang your ornaments on the limbs. Anyway, so we're going to do that tonight. He's bringing that in tonight. And like I said, I've got it all. I even moved my rug down, but what we're going to do is we're gonna place the two recliners under this mirror, even. Me and hubby, I sit here and he lays there to watch TV. And uh, we use that tray, that one tray, both of us eat off of it and stuff. So that'll go in the middle between our recliners. I've done moved this chair down, which when we get our recliners in, I'm gonna move the rug down and closer to it, I may sit the front edge of the recliners on the rug, you know, so it's holding the rug in place. So that'll be moved down. I'll probably move this chair kind of out here facing. That chair, I'll put like that one is there facing this way. I won't have it like right now, it's just right in front of that window. Of course, I won't have it so close to the recliner. You know, I'll space them out good. That stool is going to have to go. It's got the kids' blocks in it, so I may find somewhere over here with their toys to put it because I did move, re, you know, close that all in and move that card over here and try to keep all their toys together there. But um, when Christmas is over, I'm either going to put the coffee table in front of the two chairs or maybe between it, but instead of, I could do it, 
you know, long ways like it is between the two chairs. Or maybe I could turn it this way long ways and have this side of it even with the front of the chairs and it would come out a bit longer behind here. And the back side of it is where I could put my decorations I had on it. And the front side could be specifically for coasters and drinks. Not that we ever have company for anybody to come sit there and drink anything with us, but whatever. But anyway, that's our plans. Now, he's bringing the tree in tonight. The girls is coming. Gracie and Lena. Katie and Marcus wants the free time to paint their cabinets. If they can get their cabinets painted and finished with that, Hubby can get in there and finish up some stuff, and we can have Christmas at their house this year. That's what she's hoping. So, uh, they're going to do that, so they're going to bring the girls over here. Gracie's fine with it. She's never no problem. It's Lena we're worried about. We hope she does not. They said the whole time they were up there, let me come in here and sit down, and I need to plug my phone up or it's going to die. They said while they was in Illinois for Thanksgiving to the other grandparents that all Lena did was scream and cry. Didn't want nobody from but Mama, not even her daddy. So the other grandma and Papa, uh, I hope that, I didn't hear the sound. I hope it's actually charging. Uh, didn't get to hold her much, but maybe the first little bit when they got there, like a hug and stuff, and then they had to put her down, and they said they just left her alone. And just let her walk around and scream and cry because that's what she does. And they can't do nothing about it, and they have to do things. You know, she, Katie can't just sit and hold her all the time. I hope the child is okay. It makes me worry and wonder, is there something wrong with her? Is she really scared and terrified of something? The reason she just wants her mama all the time? I don't know. Katie says she can't even walk to the bathroom without Lena screaming and crying and following her. Bless her heart. So I'm hoping that she is not like that. I have been praying, Lord, please let Lena be okay tonight. Don't let her be scared. Don't let her miss and want her mama. Don't let her cry. Let her have fun. Let her get involved with us putting the ornaments on the tree and decorating. We're going to get pizza for supper. That's Gracie's favorite. And then we're going to work on the tree. And then we're going to do hot chocolate with marshmallows in it. And we're going to play. I'm going to play some Christmas music while we're decorating the tree and all that. And I just, I hope it all goes good and we can have a good time tonight. But that's our plans. Okay, guys. I'm going to draw another card to see what craft will be next. It don't mean I'm going to start on it right now, or I could. It might be later this evening, or it may be tomorrow, or it may be in a few days. I'm going to set y'all right here for now. Yes, you're going to stare inside my box with my yarn, but my phone's plugged up. It was about to die. And it won't reach over there while I'm getting my cards. And I didn't want to unplug it again. To towed it over there with me, so I'm back. Got the cards. All right, here we go. We're going to pick again. And I'm seeing this pretty backed card. Uh oh, it's turned this way. Anyway, that's the one I'm going to pick. Y'all ready? Here we go. Oh! Oh! Never mind, we ain't gonna pick that one. That's one we done picked and scratched out. All right, no wonder it's turned this way, maybe. I don't know, so let's do it again then. All right, let's get, I just seen that one with the words, the instruction card. Let's pick that one. Oh, there's two of them. It don't matter, we'll take this one. We're holding on to it. So now let's see what we got. What is our next craft? Paper Pockets YouTube? Okay, I must have seen some certain person make some certain kind of pockets that I wanted to try. I never got around to it. And so now, <laughs> I'm not going to remember exactly what that was. So I'm just going to have to get on YouTube and search pockets, paper pockets. And I'm sure paper pockets is for 
junk journals, you know. Which I've made a lot of them in different ways and styles. So I don't know if this was some specific way. I will search it just like I got it wrote down here, paper pockets, and see what comes up. So that's what I'll do next. Now, this is something I can always do. So I need to take it off of here. But I'll do that. I'm going to leave it right there. And I'll do that off camera since it's so hard to do. All right, guys. I'm going to let y'all go. This might be the end of my vlog, but I'm not sure yet. So, I'm not going to end it here. I can come back in with another little clip ending it. If it is. If we're close enough to 20. Or gone over a little. My look. That's how it always is. I can't keep my mouth shut like this. <laughs> anyway. All right. I'll see y'all in the next clip. Toots until then. Okay, everybody, this is to close this vlog out. It's the next day. It's Thursday. We had fun last night. The girls came. Lena did not cry. I'm going to start the next vlog and show y'all all that. Okay, this is bye on this vlog. Hope y'all enjoyed it. I'm kind of not feeling good again. Nose is running and bothering me. Anyway, what's new? Um... I'm going to have a chill day today, a rest day today. I ain't doing diddly squat. I don't feel like it. See y'all in the next vlog. Toodaloo!